Hi everybody. I hope you had a very nice Christmas. Uh, I thought I would do a quick video showing you how I card my fiber for my Angora rabbits and then how I spin it. So this is just, I have a whole bag full of here. I got about six ounces off my giant German buck. Um, Moose is his name. He's black, but his fiber looks a little bit gray. So what I do is I just put this on the teeth of my card in layers. I try to get as much on there as I can. And then I like to do two passes. So I transfer it from this card over. Then I'll switch hands and I'll transfer it over one more time. And these cards are 120 teeth per inch. These were um, old antique cards that I bought for, I don't know, like 20 bucks and then I just updated the carded cloth on them which they really needed it desperately. I'm glad that I did that. So and then to take it off. I just roll the fiber off and it makes this loose roll lag and I just take this right to my wheel and spin it up. Make sure you guys can see. Okay. And I'm just going to join and spin away. I know I have a few people interested in some cowls, so I might be making a cowl with this. If anybody's wondering, I shear my Germans um, every three months. They get sheared four times a year. They grow their fiber very, very fast. It seems like I just sheared these guys. Well, I did three months ago. <laughs> uh, my big German doe, Elsa. I know my Aunt Penny really loves her. She's due to be sheared this week, actually. She's on um, a 90-day shearing schedule. She does best on that. that's it and then what I would do after I get all this spun up into singles I will take it off the bobbin with my ball winder and it has a center pole and an outer pole and I put those together and then I would apply this into a two ply basically you would twist the two strings together they kind of do it themselves and then you could add a little bit more twist make some nice balanced yarn. You don't want to over twist your yarn and you don't want to under twist your yarn so it takes a little bit of practice. I know there's people that will even count um, treadles to make sure they get the twist super even throughout their entire yarn. But I don't do that. You kind of get into a rhythm and I find that you don't you don't need to do that. You just kind of do it automatically. Let me grab another roll lag. Join it. And spin away. 
I just love spinning 100% um, Angora. I know a lot of people prefer to blend it and it's very nice blended as well. There's a lot of things that you can gain from adding wool to it. But I, there's just something that I love about pure Angora. It would also depend on what you wanted to make. If I wanted to, um, if I decided to blend it with any amount of wool. There's definitely, there is certain things that I would make with 100% Angora. And there's things that I would not make with 100% Angora. So that's it. Thanks for watching. And I hope you have a great day.